Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 Middleweight Championship Tournament. In the Tournament of Robotic Champions. This week we've got the Middleweight Semi-Finals, and if we have enough time, we may just move right on to the finals. We've got Alarm vs. Mudrunner, The Boxer vs. Dementia, Backslash vs. Razor, and Tornado vs. Ripblade. Ah yes, last week the Ripblade, the one that beat me. Ah... Uh, all right, well, without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? All right, everybody. Here we are at the first match. Team Red Alerts Alarm versus Team Good Old Boys Mud Runner, I believe it is, if I check my notes real quick here. Uh, yep, Alarm versus Mud Runner. All right. This promises to be an interesting match. I think my favorite in this match to win is going to be... Sorry, I had to control the camera real quick there. Make sure I get the good angles on it. My favorite to win is Mud Runner. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Don't get caught up on the bridge there. Mud Runner's getting in some clean strikes. Dealing heavy damage to Alarm, but it looks like Mud Runner's smoking already. He's already lost a tire. Alarm's taking his tires off, and he's gone ape. Alarm has just gone back crazy. Physics be darned. His alarm flips over the bridge and into harm's way. He's now dealing damage to Mudrunner's back end, taking out those pistons. It looks like Mudrunner's tires are all taking damage. He's lost a second tire now. Mudrunner trailing with 758 points to Alarm's 1,522. The crowd is going wild, and it looks like Alarm has lost... Oh, Mudrunner has lost a third tire and a fourth tire. Alarm is tearing him apart. No ho no no mercy. No mercy from this alarm. Oh, and Mudrunner's getting in some clean strikes and hits, but without the ability to move without his wheels, can he actually turn this around? He's gonna need to use those axes to self-right. He stuck up he's stuck up against the bridge now. Alarm's just pushing him around. Alarm's got 2,270 points to Mudrunner's 1041. Still not a bad attempt by Mudrunner, but it doesn't look like he can turn this uh, around from uh, alarm and and, oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> Screw physics, am I right? <laughs> Go alarm. Man, and my favorite to win was actually Mudrunner in this one. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to turn this around. There's just no way. He's got no tires. He's got no movement. He can't self-right. Oh, this is going to come... This is going to come down to either a knockout or a minute and 16 seconds of alarm just beating Mudrunner to death. This is brutal. Look at all those points. It's insane. Pieces of mud runner just littered throughout the arena with no mercy, no love, no no care from this bot, no care from this demon. He doesn't care. And and then he beats him to death and then lets him get counted out. After he gets his nice cozy 3,000 points. Wow. Hey, hey, good attempt by Mud Runner. 1,205 points is not a bad attempt at all. I think he actually could have had it if he hadn't lost his tires. But now we've got Team Sparks the Boxer versus. Let me check my notes. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got Team Sparks the Boxer versus Dementia. Ah yes, Spikehead's Dementia. Uh, very good, uh, very good uh, robot in its last round. Uh, but in its not necessarily defense, but uh, let's see, in the defense of its opponent. Well, anyway, it was up against an easy opponent. I think it was up against a push bot and or a flip bot. Was it a push bot or a flip bot? Who who was it? As a matter of fact, let me just check my notes. Razor was up against a dog. Oh yeah, yeah, he had an easy match up against a dog. No way. Up against a push bot. Let's see how you do against somebody that can actually hit back. Dementia goes up against the bridge, and he hits Boxer with everything he's got. Boxer fires back. It looks like Boxer's being flipped over. Without the ability to self-right, Boxer's in a big bit of trouble here. He was so devastating in his last round against... Who did Boxer face in his last round? Boxer, 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 Boxer. Hey, I can't find him. Oh, well, report on the match there, Johnson. I'll find that later. Oh, he fought the Devil. Oh, yeah, he fought Devil. Boxer beat the stew out of Devil. Again, Boxer and Dementia seem to be up against opponents in their last rounds that couldn't really fight back. More strategic robots that like to flip and, and counter. And Dementia is toying with his opponent again, just like he did in his last match against the dog. He just pushed him, flipped him over, and left him underneath the flamethrower. <laughs> and now Boxer is proceeding to um, 
push himself along with his tiny fists of I think I can, I think I can. Look at him, the little boxer that could. Is Dementia that messed up? He's so... No wonder he's called Dementia. He's demented. He's just going to push him right back under the flamethrower. Oh, what? You think you're getting away from this flamethrower? No, no, you're not getting away. No, get back under that flamethrower, says Dementia. Unbelievable. The, 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 oh, he's just going to let him get counted out? He's going to push him back under the flamethrower? I can't tell what this spot is doing. It's hard to hold the mic and control the camera at the same time, but man, this, this is an interesting match. I just wish it was a little bit more, you know, action-packed. I think Boxer could have done great if he hadn't got flipped over so easily. If I was going to build him, I'd put maybe like a maybe like a flip bar on top of him so he could flip himself over. I think the uh, DSL mod uh, version of Boxer actually has that so that he doesn't get flipped over so easily. Or if he does get flipped over, he can immediately self-ride himself. Uh, Spike had uh, Dementia didn't do too bad with 338 points. But of course he immobilized the Boxer, so he'll be moving on. Let me get that in my notes. Usually before um, before and after every match, I just add an, uh, a check mark to the winner and an X to the loser. For those of you who do tournaments of your own, and when you do the physical brackets, uh, like on sheets of paper, like this one here, it's upside down. But when you do um, physical tournament brackets on sheets of paper, oh god, I almost missed that one up. Uh, just add check marks to the winners and X marks over the losers, so that you can just sort of keep it keep it going fast and keep it rolling. We've got. We've got team, I didn't look at their names after I selected them. For shame on me. This is gonna be... Um, versus Dementia. And then... Tornado versus Bat... I'm sorry, I'm going over the different... The winners and losers so that I can keep the tournament roster properly arranged. We've got... Backslash versus Razor. Now, the new version of DSL Backslash in the DSL mod I think has spikes instead of ooh, and a good flip by Backslash. Flipping Razor completely over its body, but Razor getting over 100 points off of that flip. Backslash is still in the lead with 220, 299 still going up. See, that's the good thing about Backslash. Even though it's a flip bot, Notice how the edge of his flipper is also double axes, so it's not just flipping, it's dealing damage at the same time. Razor pushing back. Razor with 357 points to backslash is 337. Uh, the crowd's not feeling it, but it's still a good, exciting match. Let me see if I can get a good camera angle here. Looks like Razor's on the defensive. Backslash is going to get additional points for being more aggressive. Not bad, not bad, Backslash. He's dealing a lot of damage to that Let's see, what would that be on the, what side? Left front tire, I believe. It looks like Razor doesn't have a Razor doesn't have enough uh, enough edge to get under the low, 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 low ground clearance of backslash. Backslash is able to just um, sort of run right up to him and not really have to worry about getting flipped over necessarily because he's so low to the ground. Looks like they're doing one of their pushing shoving matches right now, though. Razor pushing back, backslash on the edge of the arena, possibly might gonna get flipped over. Countdown's over now, we've got backslash with 524 points to Razor's 486. So far it's a close match, but not very intense from either bot. We've got a lot of shoving, some flip attempts from backslash, but it looks like... It looks like backslash is gonna take it home so far, unless... Oh, actually no, Razor's in the lead with points. He actually just took the lead at 660. Oh, he must have done that without me even noticing. We've got backslash with 565, Razor with 660. Let's see, who has more chassis damage? We've got, they both got about the same amount of chassis damage, still three hits on the batteries left remaining. Both at about one third of their remaining power, and of course neither of them use hydraulics, so that, that gauge is empty. I'm gonna pick my match favorite for this one, gonna be Razor, I guess. Just for points alone doesn't look like Backslash is going to be able to get that flip that he needs so badly. And since he's running low on power, it's not going to be able to use his, uh, it's not going to be easy to use his flip weapon either in uh, just a few minutes here. I'd say he's got about two or three more good flips on it and then he's going to be done. As a matter of fact, it looks like he might be done already. I haven't seen him use it in a while. We've got the countdown coming. Both bots push back. We've got Backslash backing up. Razor pushing him. See how um, see how when he flips it, now it goes down so much more slowly because he's running low on power. Backslash almost out of power now. No good flips left in him. 
Doesn't look like he can turn this around. And there it is. Razor goes home with 855 points as the winner. Not a bad attempt by ba Backslash, though. I'm proud of him. He gave it a good effort. Couldn't get that flip, though. Got to get under those low clearance spots. Not easy with those itty-bitty, tiny little grandma wheels that Razor has. But let me just get that marked down real quick. And I think our next match is going to be... Let's see. Tornado versus Ripblade. Ah, oh, I hate Ripblade because he beat me. I'd love him if he didn't beat me. <laughs> that would be great if he hadn't won. Oh, coffee, you're so good to me. I love coffee. It's my favorite drink in the whole world. All right, Tornado versus Ripblade. This proves to be an interesting match. The thing I'm 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 rooting not I'm not rooting for Tornado just because Ripblade beat me. Let me tell you why I think Tornado is actually going to win. Tornado Tornado's hammers spin horizontally and Ripblade's blade spins vertically. I think Tornado's hammers are going to hit the side of Ripblade's blade and knock it completely off before it can even hit him. If he doesn't fall over, for the love of God, learn how to drive. Learn how to, oh my God, are you kidding me? Get off the edge of the arena. Both of you, learn how to drive. Ripblade, go get him, and then lose. Really, Ripblade, oh, I wish he had done that when I fought him, just backed up and not really. Are you kidding me? No, this was gonna be a good match. You suck! This match you, is done. what? Tornado beat Revenge so easily. Oh my God! Let me just, let me just know. Let me live, Mulligan, Mulligan. For the love of God, he got stuck on the arena. You guys, are my fans, right? You'd hate that. You don't want that, do you? I mean, come on. That's that's a technicality. That's like, what do you? Let me know what you think in the comment section below of me redoing this match. If you absolutely hate it, I'll never do it again, I promise, I swear to God. But we've got to get a good match out of these two. I had a prediction, I had a prediction, and everything, and this, this douche, you can't see me pointing, I'll use my cursor. This douche just decides to fall on the edge of the arena. There you go. Okay, see, see? Notice how it's doing a lot of heavy damage to the, um, to the horizontal right now, and and Ripley's having trouble actually getting his blade to the body of Tornado. Oh, and there's a hold there. He's dealing a lot of damage to either, both, actually both the blades and the wheels. Oh, and he's knocked off his training wheels. Tornado has knocked off the training wheels of Ripley. That look, whoa, what the heck? What, are you kidding me? Physics again? And Tornado is just, he's just, I'm not doing it again. I gave you a mulligan the first time. You don't get a second one. If you want to be derpy like that, get counted out. Oh my god, really? It's a race to see who can get counted out first because apparently Ripblade is stuck under the bridge. Why couldn't that happen to him in his match with me? Who even won that? Oh my god, really? Ugh, Ripblade. 219 points as the winner. Oh boy. I gave him one mulligan. I ain't giving him another one. Well, anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the match so much. Thank you all so much for watching. And stay tuned for the heavyweight finals of the tournament of robotic champions and i'll see well let me do my proper outro anyway let's see tournament of robotic champions is going to be alarm and of alarm versus dementia and razor versus Ripblade. oh man it's only going to be to two rounds oh and then and then the round for the winner too as well so that'll be one two three oh man it's only going to be three rounds that's going to be kind of short but we'll have the middleweight champion then Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the episode so much, and thank you for watching, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.